Let's go, baby. Back to work. All right, guys. Thanks so much for coming. It's uh, it's technically episode five of Animal Crossing New Horizons on Nintendo Switch. We did a little bit of online multiplayer. You guys can definitely take a look at that video. It was definitely an experience. But let's just pretend it never happened, all right? <laughs> anyway, so uh, today we're going to visit the Able Sisters and see what's going on with them. I have not seen exactly what goes on in the little shop that they set up in the front of our island. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Thanks so much for coming. And shout out to all of you guys that have become members throughout the entire time here. If you guys have not seen our main channel page, definitely take a look at it. We got loads of content for Animal Crossing. I've got a tips and tricks tutorial video on how to get some Nook Miles and exactly how to get some Bells. So if you guys didn't see it on my main channel page, right out here, definitely, definitely don't look at this guy's face at how mad he is at Nintendo Switch Online for this game. But take a look over here. We've got easy money tutorial videos. We've got our Let's Play. We've got tips and tricks, tons of stuff happening. So make sure you guys are on board with it, yeah? Thumbs up in the comments if you guys have watched all that content. And shout out to Nintendo for the Animal Crossing shirt that they sent literally today and I unboxed it on the uh, online multiplayer video. So it was a good time. Anyway, visit the friend code exchange, do all that fun stuff, and let's have a great day today. We got a lot to make up for what just happened, so let's have a good day. Anyway, how are you guys doing today? I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you guys are also playing Animal Crossing along with me. It was a great time. Man, this entire couple days were great, so I love it. I love it. I love it. <clears throat> hey, the kitty Roblox, what's going on? So I am wearing this hat, although hats really don't suit me. I've got some really cool hair, so I'm going to take off the hat. All right, remove that. <clears throat> there we go, I got some real cool hair. All right, so other than that, um, we're gonna go see what's going on, so I I'm ready. This is kind of what we did for the, <laughs> for the online multiplayer aspect of the game. I said, hey, you know what? I got a little garage sale going. You guys can take all these fruits that we have over here, so. It's kind of what happened. It was very eventful. It was very eventful, and sometimes a, a different side of me comes out, but... Anyway, we got Gulliver up in here. Let's see what Gulliver has to say. Uh, hey, I wanted to add, thank you for saving my life. Never got your number. I hope regular mail is okay. Did you know that people feel, still do these? Wild. Anyway, please enjoy this weird souvenir from me. Thanks again. All right. Well, thanks, Gulliver. It was a good time. What does Gulliver give us? None other than a Statue of Liberty. What the heck? Really? A Statue of Liberty? Okay, I guess I'll put it, like, right here. The, the Statue of Liberty? Like, from the United States? Okay, weird, but I, I guess... I guess that's a good spot to put it. Thanks, Gulliver. I wasn't expecting that, but okay, whatever. So what do you guys think? Lady Liberty? Cool. Should that be a permanent fixture on my island, or should I just, like, sell it? <laughs> just give it to one of you guys. Murica! Sea bass. Black sea bass. Thank you. Needed it. Womp womp. Okay, so we got some work to do today. Uh, let's go through our checklist and go do our things, right? We need some money for starters, right? We're, we're kind of broke. It's not like we got bells in the bank or anything like that. Let's uh, let's do some work, shall we? Oh man, what a good day. When we find the money rock on our first hit, how awesome is that? Yo, give me that big 15k. Thank you. And I'm gonna do this. <laughs> Beautifully done. All right, I'm taking all that big money. Thank you, thank you. About 16k bells just for uh, doing that for two seconds. Beautifully done, by the way. That, I don't know if I have that. I think I have. It looks like a citrus, uh, citrus something or rather. Here we go, here we go. Yoink! Good. It's, uh, yeah, a citrus longhorn beetle, uh, so we definitely don't need that. All right, oh, okay, so we did want to say hi, right? That's, Mabel made the thumbnail, so you might as well say hi to her. Hey, hi there. Uh, yeah, so you're setting up a little tent. Oh, right, uh, didn't I see you back at the store a while back? I knew you looked familiar. No worries if you forgot, but, but my name is Mabel. I'm an old friend of Timmy, Tommy, and Tom Nook. Hey, Rye Gaming, how are you? We go way back. Anyway, that's how I'd heard about A Nation and came out here to sell clothes and stuff. 
My dream is to open my shop right here on the island, but I gotta build up a customer base first. I'll try to stop by a couple times a week, so if you see me around, don't be a stranger, alright? Oh hey, since you're like, uh, right here, you wanna see stuff I'm selling today? Yeah, absolutely. Great, let me just open up today's catalog for you. Wow, this is real cool. So, I don't know how this is gonna work. I can only assume, guys, that you're just gonna have to buy out her stuff. And then maybe if you buy X amount of money, if you buy X amount of money of her stuff, then with that money, she'll maybe, just maybe, build her own shop like she has in the previous Animal Crossing games. Uh, Rai Gaming asks, how do you get the ladder? You keep on playing the game, and uh, you'll eventually get the recipe for it. I don't remember. If you've watched the previous four episodes, you'll see exactly how I got it. Or someone in the comments can help you, because this, these days have been a blur, honestly. Alright. So, keep on playing the game. You'll get the recipe. That's my short answer for you. Okay, embroidered pattern skirt. This is a thousand bells. Like, these are very expensive clothing items. But, I'm doing this in good faith. That maybe this is how you unlock the actual shop for her. So, anyway. And then I'll, I'll throw these, like, on the floor, like, for frilly pants. Or maybe, you know what? I'll just flip these. I'll just flip them. Uh, I don't even know, man. This is weird clothing, but whatever. A pair of long pink socks? Weird. Alright, neon tights. Here we go. You know I'm gonna be wearing those neon tights, right? Should I just wear everything that I bought here? Thanks, do I want to look at anything else? Yeah, I mean, I'm... It's weird because she's got multiples of all these things, and it's not like I'm buying it out one time. Which kind of concerns me. But hey, dude, we just found 15k bells on the floor, so we might as well give some to Mabel out here. Um, so anyway. I don't have an answer on whether or not this is exactly how we get the Mabel Sisters shop. I'm just throwing them a bone and expanding my catalog here. So if any... Oh, that's a sweet looking hat. I might wear that. A paperboy cap? 2000 for an overall dress? It's really ugly. But anyway, let's put on all these clothes. Yeah, you know what? We need we need to try on some clothes. Here you go, so that's it. Oh, and then you got some nasty boots. Steel-toed boots? That's 2600 You're crazy, lady. Alright, I'll do it. I'll do it. One time only. I need to stop looking like every other default character. I'm like rocking default dance over here, and it's not cool. So anyway, okay, I'm done. What do you think? I'm gonna bring different stuff each time you visit. On the days I'm here, I'll be selling the first thing in the morning until about 10 at night if you want to shop. All right, so your hours are kind of the same thing. I want to see what kind of nook miles we get out of that, if it's even worth doing. Um, or hit hit a rock, here we go, so this is it. A growing collection of furniture. Okay, so we got 100 things. Okay, that's great. I got 10,000 of these nook miles, so I better do something with them. Okay, so 5,000, I spent X amount of money. Oh, wow, Shopaholic. Yo, I'm addicted to that Shopahol. I gotta watch out. Host the most, dang. Remember when we hosted the most on the previous uh, live stream there? Yo, that's real good. I'm a very hospitable friend. Look at that. Look at that. I got this whole card filled out because of how many people I hosted. Beautifully done. I'm a well-known partier, man. You guys come over to my town, I got all the fruits for you. Thanks to all of you guys that came on board. So anyway, here's Miles Plus. Uh, I guess hit rocks for an extra 200. Great. Nah, game's not gonna tell me how to play. I'm gonna tell the game how I play. All right, here we go. So let's change into some stuff. What do you guys want to see? What do you guys want to see? Take off this, uh, take off the pants? No. <laughs> let's do this hat, paperboy cap. It looks sharp. I look like a fancy old man. I'm not gonna wear an overall dress. The tortoise specs actually look pretty cool. Dang, I look like a hipster. T. Parker combo? Wow, I completely look like a hipster. And that is actually a really cool thing. I like that. Uh, how about a pullover jacket? Like a hoodie? No, I don't like the clash of the blue and the red. I, I think that's very ugly. And then frilly pants? <laughs> oh, well, I mean, when you put it like that... Yeah, you know what? This actually looks good. I can't believe it. I cannot believe I look like a really old hipster man. <laughs> the I gotta remove the glasses. What do you guys think? Take one. Oh man, I'm dumping this stuff. Yo, I'm just gonna invite one person over and you got you just get everything, okay? You get everything that's out here. Goodbye. Here's the skirt. See ya. 
Take these shoes. Oh, remember, steel-toed boots. We're gonna wear them. Yeah, we're done with loafer life. Alright, we're dropping that. Overall dress, we're dropping it. Dropping it like it's hot. And then this mesh cap is actually a really cool one, so I'm gonna keep that. So, cool. Oh, hey, yo, what's up? Shep? I think you're ready to learn one of my favorite reactions I'm gonna teach you. Let's do laughter. Oh, there we go. So, that's good. So, I like that Frida actually has some sort of use. Like, she's out here teaching me all these emotions. So, Dr. Shrunk, he's nowhere to be found. This guy is out of a job, Dr. Shrunk. He's gonzo. And I'm kind of sad about that, but I can't confirm whether he's not when he, whether he's in the game or not. So it's kind of how that works. Okay, so mesh cap I'm going to put in storage. I'm also going to store these peaches. Uh, someone gave me some Sahara tickets. I don't really know what they do because I haven't messed around with Sahara. I do have neon tights, and I did like this leaf umbrella. That was kind of cool. I just don't need it on me right now. And then a garden gnome, I'm going to give that to Jess. And then a throwback wall clock. Let's actually put it on the wall. Here we go. A throw a throwback wall clock. Hang on the wall. Throwback. I don't know what that's a throwback to. What's it a what is it? What is it a throwback to? I don't know. <laughs> I'm like looking at it. Okay, let's do that. And then I had one more thing that I'm just gonna put away. What is this? Oh, the gnome. Okay. And then we got these tights that I'm gonna wear. Hold on. There you go. What do you think my tights look like? Do they look great? My neon tights, striped socks. All right, so I'm gonna actually give striped socks away. I'm gonna sell it. And then I think we're good. I don't need the beetle, I don't need the sea bass, and I definitely don't need uh, the lawn known. We're gonna put it right by Jess, so. In case you guys missed it, uh, in uh, in between episodes four and five, uh, Jess wanted to play a little bit, and I said, you could just play my character. And then she said, well, what happens if I just made my own character? And I said, okay, that's cool, you can do that too. And so here we go, we have her on board. And I now give her a lawn gnome. Oh my gosh! Yo, this guy's cool! Oh, this guy's actually cool. Look at him, he's got some shades. He's got the Enzo shades on, man. All right, so that was kind of interesting. All right, grabbing this, grabbing this. So we saw the Mabel sisters. I don't really know what else there is to do today. Timmy and Tommy, these guys are out here doing work. I'll sell some smaller items and we'll kind of look around. Yeah, these clothes are definitely bright. I don't think that... Okay, what do you guys think? Should we remove the glasses? Are those kind of like... Nonsense? 126 bells per turn up? Oh, that's pretty high. 126? What's hot today, guys? These glasses are hot. Windflower wreath is hot. Oh, I can make those. Those don't actually take too much to make. Okay, so yeah, get rid of this, this, and take my dirty, smelly socks. Okay, you guys like them? You guys like these glasses? Okay, I mean, that's cool. We can totally do that. I mean, if you guys like the way they look, I, I guess. Uh, I don't need any of these items here. None of these items really speak out to me, so let's continue on. Keep the glasses. Everyone says keep the glasses. We will keep them. I look like a hipster old man, but that's okay. Whatever. Or, whoa, dang, get that money! Money, 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 money! They're a thousand dollar bell bags, so net two thousand off of that one. Not too bad. I'll shake these because apparently cherries are in high commodity right now because we're doing a lot of fruit selling. So, I might as well shake them. I mean, even then, I could just leave the cherries on the floor and then wait a couple days and then they'll, uh, they'll, go be, uh, they'll grow back, so, anyway. And then, so, I am still on the hunt of gold nuggets, guys. Uh, none of you guys gave me a gold nugget when you guys came over, which was sad, but it's okay. Oh yes, let's do that, thank you. I almost forgot. All right, here we go. Thank you, thank you for reminding me. Do we get the gold nugget? Oh dang, I didn't press it fast enough. It's just like the money rock. Did you realize that? Like if you're not pressing the A button fast enough, you're not going to get that last piece that comes out. So that's kind of a bummer. Like you need to go for that gold nugget. That's just what it is. Little bummer there, but that's okay. We're gonna be all right. How do you plant a fruit tree? You just dig a little whole hole in the ground? Do I have a snail? You dig a hole in the ground, you throw a piece of fruit in it. That's it. That's as easy as it can be to catch or to dig a fruit tree. <laughs> I'm like, do I have this? Um, I kind of want to, I kind of want to do the whole, 
like hot item thing. But at the end of the day, the amount of work that it's going to take for me to actually find all the stupid flowers, make them all together, and then sell it, the amount of time I could have gone to the next day and found my money rock, so it's really not worth it. All right, I see your gold nuggets in the comments. You better save those for me. I'm coming for them, I really am. Admit one. You get an admit one coupon um, to my town if you have a golden nugget. And I'll put my dodo code out there for you guys. Would that be cool if I dodo coded? Oh, that'd be so much fun. Whoa. Uh, I don't think that's a shark. I mean, I don't know. I haven't confirmed whether or not sharks have fins in this game. That's probably just another sea bass. So, I guess we're fine. Really nothing too exciting happening today. I mean, it's raining. Maybe there's... What the heck? Who did that? Was it one of you guys who buried a tree branch? How dare you? That's not how you plant a fruit tree. <laughs> Just kidding. Alright. You guys are confirming that the coelacanth is out here? Is a coelacanth a uh, ocean dwelling fish? Or is a coelacanth a river dwelling fish? I don't remember from the previous Animal Crossings. So I will have to take a look at that. Alright, so kind of looking for stuff here. Looking for buried treasure. Of course, fossils. Remember, that's part of our little checklist of things to do. <laughs> cherry trees. Don't really need them. Not really. I got plenty of cherry trees all over the place. Alright, here we go. Whee! Yo, what's up, tiger? And that's a snail? Don't need snails. No, I guess I could talk to this guy. Hey, you good? See you later. Uh. <laughs> hey, you good? I'm out of here. Don't really want to talk to you, Tybalt. Alright, alright. So, kind of one of the things that I wanted to do... I didn't finish... I did not finish furnishing my coconuts but apparently I only have one coconut left I gave a lot of them to you guys so I'm gonna go back I'm going to make my coconut tree my little palm tree here we go good spacing on the trees for sure for sure all right we're gonna go up down all right so I got a little baby coconut tree one two three four and then I'm gonna dig one right over here and we should be all set yeah, it's a good spot. Very good spot. Best spot. So I got a lot of spaces over here. I can still find maybe about three more fossils in the world. Not really sure where they're going to be at, but hopefully I can find them in no time. So let's move on. All right, we're going to go up and then we're going to go down. What is that? Oh, that's the guy. Huh. I'm like, what in the world? Hey, here we go. Beautifully done. Nice find. I hope it's not someone who just like is pranking me. Came over to my town, <laughs> buried a what? What would you bury to troll someone in Animal Crossing New Horizons? And don't say pitfalls because I have not confirmed whether or not they exist in this game. What would you bury to troll someone? How about that? <gasps> oh my gosh, let's go. How much money do I have? Oh, I got 12k? Yeah, let's go. What would you bury? I don't know if this tree is going to make it. I kind of want to remove those other cherries out of the way. So let's just eat three cherry trees. Or eat three of these. You would... <laughs> you would bury a bag of weeds? <laughs> wow, what do you wisp now? Alright, so here we go. So I'm gonna do this. Yoink! Thank you, kind sir. Yoink! I need to ensure the success of my investment over here. This is my 30k potential investment. Only paid 9k for it. Alright, so we're ensuring the su success of that thing. 
Uh, cherries, I mean, I like cherry trees and all, but I feel that cherries are just all over the place. I don't necessarily need them everywhere. Like, I guess I could put one right over here. I got three of them. Here we go. It's like, it's like the animals in, uh, or no, I was going to say, it's kind of like, what is that? A villager in Animal Crossing's friend, what is that? It's kind of like villager in Smash Bros. That's what I'm kind of trying to say here. Mr. Nintendo Kid, what's up, dude? Your screen was black while you were on my island. Oh, I don't know what to do about that, buddy. I got a pinball machine. All right, well, that's kind of cool. I need this cherry tree to be here. Wow, that's way not where I wanted it, but that's fine. You know, I really have to spend an entire day and just move around stuff. You know, there's just so much. It kind of seems all over the place and nonsensical. You know, it kind of feels that way. All right, so did any of you guys see some other, um, what was that? Some other spots that had uh, little check marks where I could find some fossils? I may have overlooked some. Three, I gotta do a quick iron nuggets, man. Here we go. I should open my town again? All right, cool, you're invited, just you though. No one else. All right. Oh, that's a pill bug. See you later, buddy. I don't need him. I already caught one. I'll squish him, though. Not the pill bug. All right, we're good. Okay, so I do have a pinball machine. I might put it in my house. It looks kind of cool, right? And no, I have not talked to Cookie yet. That's a good idea. Thanks. Let's go talk to Cookie. Pinball machine. Remember, I got this just uh, from a random thing. Here we go. There we go. It's called the Super Su Super Attack? Huh. Well, who wants to come over and play pinball? <laughs> My house is the best house, I'm telling you. It's got the best things in it. It's got a pinball machine, got a random clock someone gave me. Best items, man. Best items. All right, so this is one. Let's go super attack pinball. Wee! All right, I guess. A lawn gnome. So that's Jess's, um, that's Jess's little tent there. She's like, where, can I just move into your house? And I said, you know what? That's not how it works in Animal Crossing New Horizons. You can do that in what? In Animal Crossing DS and Wii, right? You would move into their house and you'd live upstairs and you'd share a house, right? But this game, it's different. Ah, thank you. Quick sneeze over here. Don't worry, I'm not sick. At least I hope I'm not. Oh my gosh, please tell me I'm not sick. I, it's a little dusty down here. Let's just let's just keep it at that. Oh my gosh, I did go out today. <laughs> as long as I don't have a fever, right? <sighs> thank you for all you guys that said bless you. Oh my gosh, so let me tell you the story. I'll tell you the story, and it's gonna hit close to home. I don't really talk, I don't, I don't really like talking about the political climate out there, but Illinois is currently shut down for only um, things that are important. Like, you can't go out to go to GameStop. No, like starting, I think starting Monday or something like that. Like, only grocery stores, hospitals, gas stations, those are the only things that are going to be in business, which is really interesting, so. Weird. Yeah, so I went inside and then uh, we got word that Illinois was gonna close down. So we're like, all right, we might as well go beat the rush, go restock up on stuff. And then, um, and then see what happened, so. And literally, it was crazy, man. It's crazy out there, dude. As long as you guys are staying safe, right? Okay, I think I'm done for the day here. There's really nothing else for me to do. I found four, is that a new rock? Excuse me. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't know this rock. We've never met. Have I met that rock before? Wait, I had a rock over here. The rock... 
Hold on. Someone playing tricks on me? Excuse me, what? I don't I don't know you. Nice to nice to meet you, Rock. Nice to meet you, Rock. Why did you move? Did someone break my rock? Yeah, seriously, this rock li- Oh, yeah, baby! Thank you! Wow, this new rock. Well, you're better than my old rock now. Yeah, dude, let's go! I although I can't really see anything. These trees are very, very poorly placed. But anyway, welcome, new rock. Welcome to the new rock city. All right, so some of you guys want to say hi to Cookie. Are you Cookie's house? Cookie's house. Okay, Cookie, did you already move in? I made you all of your furniture. On the interior and exterior, by hand, handcrafted. It was Nook's, part of Nook's secret plan. What's up, Cookie? Oh, Cookie's cute, actually. Oh, hi, hello. I'm deep in the middle unpacking. Oh my gosh, you're gonna freak out about how adorbs my place is once it's fully furnished. Aw, cute. Uh, New Age caught a football fish. Yo, good job. That's pretty rare. That's in the big silhouette, right? It's in the big silhouette in the ocean where you get that football fish. So there's cookie, guys, but I don't think that there's anything else. So a coelacanth while it's raining. You're thinking that I can do that. Hold on. I can attempt a coelacanth catch. You guys, uh, would you guys like that? Do a little bit of fishing? Otherwise, I'm like, look, I'm just wasting time. I could just go to the next day and see what else is happening. That's how I like to play Animal Crossing. Boo! Another carp. All right, let's go. Coelacanth time. That's definitely not a coelacanth. Hey, red snapper, that's expensive. I think that sells for about 3k bells or something, if I remember from the old Animal Crossing games. Okay, that's definitely not a coelacanth. We pass. We That's a hard pass on that little turd. Alright, here we go. What is this? Nothing over here. That's probably where the, the, the sharks come. Dun-dun-dun-dun. Dun-dun-dun-dun. So, uh, whoa, I don't think I have this. I caught a horse mackerel? Of course. Oh, yeah, maybe I do remember that horse mackerel. I don't remember what it looks like, though. So, Jess was playing this game, and she caught a, she got two boots. You know how I remember I caught a, a tire by fishing? She got two boots, and then out of nowhere, I got a DIY recipe to use the two boots. Yo, caught a dab. Not bad. Hmm, 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 hmm. She got two boots, then learned a DIY recipe for a pair of shoes. Or for, like, a pair of actual boots that you can wear. Like, what? You take these two boots that you find in the ocean, you turn them- A zebra! What is this? A barred knife jaw? Dang it. I think I got one more space. I'm gonna sell that stuff. So anyway, don't go throwing out all of your stuff. There's got to be some exclusive rainfish, right? Like, that's kind of what I'm aiming for out here, is an exclusive rainfish. So, allow me to run to Blathers. We're going to run to Blathers. I'm going to make sure that these guys are all donated already. If they are, then great. But, uh, I really want to find some sort of exclusive rainfish. Any of you guys, Animal Crossing aficionados from the previous games, do you guys remember some stuff that were uh, exclusive to that? Let me know in the comments if you remember any specific exclusive rain fish. It could be pond, it could be stream, or it can be ocean. Okay, here we go, here we go. Let's uh, make a donation. 
Okay, dang it. So I have everything. Dude, this is really tough, uh, tough stuff, considering the fact that I've got a lot of things donated in this museum. I've been doing a lot of fishing and a lot of bug catching, so... A little tough. Alright, coelacanth in the sea. Is that it? Is that the only thing? That you guys remember? All right, here we go. Red, this is a lot of good stuff. Snail, goodbye. Yeah, I'm good. That, that's a lot. I didn't sell my gold nugget, mind you, I didn't. And that's 12,000 bells because it's good fish and it's good seashells too. 12,000 is amazing. We made pretty much all the money back that we spent on unnecessary unnecessary clothing from the Able Sisters. All right, so I'm gonna attempt to seal a canth and then we're really just gonna stop the day and continue on with the next day, so. Anyway, there's Stonehenge, by the way. And I don't ever see anything to the north of that little spot there. So there's Stonehenge, that's a baby fish. Really, okay, whoa. What do I have in the mail? You got mail. Give me that. The Statue of Liberty. Ha <laughs> ha. Gulliver, man. Alright, well, you know, even if it's raining, I just don't... I don't see any silhouettes out here. Yard sale. Come get your pears. Oh, this could be it. Coelacanth hype in the comments. Go ahead. Type it out. <laughs> like you know how to spell coelacanth. <laughs> I don't. C O E L A C A N T H. That was it. I swear it was. I was not listening. The in game volume is not loud enough. That was a coelacanth. Goodbye. Rip. Rest in pepperonis, dude. It's gone. C O E, right? Right? Dude, no one can spell it. And I don't have fish bait either. I haven't been really good about keeping fish bait. <gasps> okay, rematch. Rematch. It could happen. Got it. This is it. Dang it. <sighs> What's up, Jovial? How are you? You little neck clam. So upset. Very upsetting. Like, you just have to have patience, man. It's It's a gotcha game, dude. Animal Crossing is a gotcha game, and you didn't even realize you're playing it. All right, you know what? We're out of here. I'm not going to spend all day fishing. That's uh, that's a stream for another time. Am I right? Although, that big fish right there is kind of taunting me. I let one get away, I swear I did. The frames, you can you can tell when you get a rare fish. Because from the moment that they bite to the moment that they run away, it's gotta be a certain amount of frames. And if it's a very small amount of frames, and it got away, you know that you messed up. <laughs> uh, like the, the frame window, like how many milliseconds you have to react to said fish, right? Okay, completely off. What in the world? My depth perception, excuse me? You dumb fish, go!
I don't know. Something common. Dude, what is going on? I'm getting this nasty common stuff. We don't need that. Okay, I'm out of here. Okay, guys, I think we're done. Last call. If we need anything else. I money rocked. I um, sold everything that I had. That's a medium-sized fish. I ran around it, so it ran away. Last call. Feed cookie cookies. I don't have any cookies. Dude, I just pressed it. Why? Why? I'm like counting these little nibbles. All right, I'm done, man. I'm getting frustrated. Forget that. <laughs> We're gone. Oh, man. That's it. We're done with that day. We're gonna move on to the next day. Let's just see what's going on. Maybe we'll find our money rock again. Maybe we'll get another gold nugget. Dude, we got two gold nuggets in our inventory. This is a wonderful thing. Out of how many rocks we hit? Gold nugget, man, that's where it's at. <laughs> it's totally trigger finger fishing. You are absolutely right. Totally trigger finger on that. It's just... I pressed it, man. I pressed it. Anyway, anything going to happen today? I don't know. What's happening on the 29th? We're still in spring, which is kind of cool. So I don't think I exhausted all of spring yet, but I kind of got to start playing at nighttime a little bit more. Nighttime. I got to start adjusting time, uh, customizing my time in the game to that. So we'll see. Tarantula hunt, man. Ooh, that would be crazy, Orange Man. Trust me, I need a rematch with the tarantula. I still don't have one. That's super scary, though. And, like, someone, like, came to my island and, like, held up a tarantula? Like, how do you do that? It's raining again. Okay, coelacanth. Round two, fight. And that is a cute puppy. Okay, I kind of like Cookie. Just kinda. I don't even like dogs. All right. Hello, everyone. This is Tom Nook. It's Happy Sunday. Now for today's news. Joined a new neighbor, Dora. Hey, remember Dora? Mr. Crazy Ninja, trying to relax for a bit before work. Hashtag nurse life. Hey, you be safe out there. Be safe out there. And thanks for all of your hard work. We love it. Resident Services will soon relocate from its current tent to a new, more permanent building. It's a big move and construction will take some time, so it will be closed tomorrow. Please check on the lost items at the recycle box. I honestly don't know the prerequisite for that. I don't know, and I didn't take Tom Nook's customization shop either. Remember he had like a little... thing? Maybe it's just after a certain allotment of time? Maybe a week? After a week has passed? It'll automatically update? I don't know the prerequisites, man. Alright, Dora the Explorer is in the A Nation, and that bell, ooh, that money tree right there. My phone is ringing. Okay, why? Hello, it's Timmy from Nook's Cranny. I've reached Abdallah, right? Yeah, we sent payment to your bank. Oh, it's a little drop-off. Thank you. Okay, so thank you. All right, good job. Who sent me mail? Don't tell me it's the HHA. Dang it, it's them. Congratulations, rank B. Here's a gift. All right, well, it's free stuff. Predictions in the comments. What is it? What do you think it is? I'll let you guys predict. I'll give you guys a couple seconds. What do you think it could possibly be? From the HHA. It's got to be like a piece of furniture. Like, I don't know, a chair. Something ridiculous that I have no use for. What do you guys think? No, we're, I, I don't want to drop my gold nugget. No, I mean, we're going we're gonna to deposit it. We're going to put that in storage. I don't need these cherries. I got a whole bunch of seashells. Stones I'm good with. I don't really need to deposit. Okay, here we go. So present open and it is an ironing board excuse me did you not give me that oh you gave me a, an iron like a tabletop ironing set and then now they gave me an ironing board are you guys trying to say something yo this shirt is only wrinkled because i'm like at a bunched over position like it's it's actually it's a nice 
I don't need to iron this. It's good. Right, my shirt's fine. Doesn't need any ironing. What are you trying to say? Just kidding. I'll sell it and I'll make some bells out of it. Speaking of making bells out of it, let's take a look at this. That's my money tree, baby. Look, 10K bells a pop. 10K. 10K and another 10K. That was a uh, a very, very good money tree. Yeah, that was my net 20. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. Yo, you want a tree in this one spot? Oh, you got a tree in this one spot. Yo, that was a net of 20,000 bells. So 21. Here we go. All right, bury in a hole. And what do you know? Wasn't there a tree over here before? Oh gosh, please don't dig up my tree. Oh my gosh. That'd be the worst, right? You come out here, you put his $10,000 um, little tree, and then you accidentally dig it out because you're not aligned properly. That would be terrible. All right. Oren wants to see my museum. Not yet, dude. Not yet. You can see the, uh, the museum um, in a previous episode. Absolutely. You can go watch that. But as of right now, I'm not going to be showing off the museum because it's not filled. And there's no point in even going there, or let alone wasting time. So, no, I'm not going to do that right now, but thanks for the suggestion. Okay, here we go. Rematch. Coelacanth. Let's go. It's mine. Got it. That was fast. It's a stupid flounder. Silly flounder. It was a silly flounder. I'm not going to insult its intelligence. It was, it was very silly, though. Dang, man. Some of you guys uh, predicting that it was a sea bass. You guys are hurting me, man. You guys are hurting me with this sea bass in the comments. Yo, this has to be it. Coelacanth, let's go. It's raining. No. <coughs> no, sea bass. That's not a coelacanth. I don't know. Coelacanth's a big, fat shadow. So it's not going to happen. All right. Well, we didn't get it. That's fine. Uh, there's more where that came from. Out of the way, you little snail. Who's that over there? Two. Oh, that's cookie. Three. Four. Gold nugget, baby. No, nothing. I do like, I do like cookie. Cookie is a very cute animal. Very colorful. Like, it's a not, it's a non-natural color for a dog. Cookie! Want a cookie? <laughs> Thing trendy. Arfur. Arfur? Oh, weird. I gotta change that ASAP. So I don't know if you can change their little um, verbal ticks or whatever they have at the end of their sentences, but you can do that in the previous games. Like, they usually say Arfur, and then the sheep says OU. Like, there's just some silly stuff that they say. And then they go up to you, they say, hey, my catchphrase is a little boring. Do you want to change it? <laughs> and then, uh,. And then you change it to something that's kind of humorous. What would be a good catchphrase for cookie? Let me know in the comments. A cookie catchphrase. What the heck is that? Excuse me? A lost item? Oh, cool. I picked up a lost item. I should probably reunite it with its owner. All right, well. I guess cookie's here, so. And we don't have too many villagers, so this is gonna be fine. I could find cookie and say, hey, is this yours? You lose this? Thanks for bringing this. It's totes, not mine. It's uh, maybe Pudge. Okay, we can go say hi to Pudge. Bring the item uh, back to Pudgy McPudgerson. Pudgy, uh, Pudgy McPudgerson Von Pudgerooney. This is Pudge's house. 
You're out on a snack run? Come on, man. I don't have time to go find you, Pudge. Alright, that was easy. Hey, Pudge, you dropped this? You know, I... Do I like Pudge? I don't know. What would you guys rate Pudge out of 10? Is he a cool dude? This is a shopping bet I thought I lost. You found him. Him? Okay. Thank you. You had it in your pockets. What was it? It's a folding chair. Great. Pudge. Yeah, he was out playing Snack World. Ho, 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 ho. Pudge, eight out of ten, six out of ten. Animal, I would, I would agree. Yeah, he's he's not, de he's definitely not a ten out of ten. He's no Goldie or Bunny or Chief or Bob. Like he's no flagship character, and he's got this sad-looking face all the time. A hundred percent, he is a sad bear. And a message in a bottle. We'll take that. And that is a coelacanth. I'm, I'm calling it right now. It has to be. Ooh, ooh here we go. It's always a message I never read. A leaf umbrella. Oh. Okay, so that's kind of cool. DIY recipe for a leaf umbrella. Excellent. So that's how you guys made one. I thought that was like a Tom Nook umbrella kind of a thing. Excuse me. May I? May I have the rare fish, please? May I have the rare fish, please? I'm going to have to swap something out. Here we go. Uh, <laughs> swap it, dude. I can't find this rare fish. All right, here. Just take this uh, tree branches. I don't know, guys. It just doesn't exist in this game. <laughs> just like Mr. Rossetti's Reset Center. It just doesn't exist. I need more bridges, though. Oh, hold on, hold on. Can I just build a bridge? Hold on. I can, can't I? Right? Is that just not a thing that I can do with my uh, work um, workbench? Because I'm kind of over this whole vaulting concept. Can I just build one outright? I don't know. The bait that you make from clams is literally just a one... It's a one-time use. You sprinkle it, and then it spawns a random fish. It doesn't spawn anything rare. It's just, hey, you know what? There's no fish biting over here. Throw out the fish bait and you'll randomly get one. It's kind of lame. I think that's it. Yeah, yeah, that's about it. It's a lot of fish. I mean, fish sell for a lot. It's fine. Okay, maybe not a lot. Still okay. <laughs> I saw this comment in the comment section. Does this work? No, it doesn't. Nice try. Thanks for, uh... Thanks for the non-confirmed comment that here's what you should do. I love that. Alright, anyway. Uh, see the can? Maybe? I still need to find what? I didn't do all of my money rocks. Or all of my other rocks. I could potentially get some more gold, right? I mean, why wouldn't you? These days are boring. Honestly, these days are boring right now because nothing's really happening. It's just kind of the same, the same old thing. I don't know how anyone can play this game without moving around to customizing the play experience. You play this game exactly day by day, I would get burnt out so quick. I don't know, what do you guys think? I like the customization of playing it how you want to play, right? Okay, maybe the next day that we jump into, I'll make it nighttime. And then that'll be a little bit more uh, exciting because then I can, uh, I can do a little bit of tarantula rematching which is going to be really fun, so... 
I cannot wait to completely level off this land here. I do not need anything like this. At all. I do not need it. Give me this rock. Oh, dang! Did I not get my money rock today? I didn't. That's fine, whatever. I could pay off my loan within the next couple of days. That's the exciting part, right? Money rocking. Alright, let's see, let's see, let's move on. I don't care about that. I don't want the vaulting. Like, I, I just feel so confined up here. Don't need these, don't need this. Just kind of doing a quick once over in case I miss any fossils. I honestly didn't get any good ones. I only got three of them today. So there's two more of them floating around on my island that I have not yet stumbled upon. Just looking around, don't, oh, don't see anything. And I already, I built my, uh, my money tree today as well, so I'm good on that. All right, I'm good to try another day. <laughs> if you guys are, there's really nothing that happened today. It's like just a boring day. And you know, Animal Crossing is not about just having exciting days all, all the time. It's just not about that life. So here, how about we do this? How about we do this? Okay, here we go. I am going to I'm going to do something awesome. We're going to do a little bit of lumberjack. We're going to do a little bit of lumberjacking. Okay, you know what? That'll be exciting for the day. Let's put on our lumberjack hat. And let's go chop down some trees that are not doing anything for us, right? And then, with the stuff that we have from the trees, we can indeed uh, plant some new stuff, right? I haven't even tried planting any of these. Uh, and I do have coconuts. So I'm going to take that in the pockets. We're going to take the oranges. We're also going to take the peaches, the pears, and the apples. It's perfect. You know what? That's ex that's something exciting. Let's go. Dora can wait, man. Dora can absolutely wait. Here we go. So it looks like the money tree does not grow back. At all. Um, so what I'm going to need is... I kind of want to eat a snack. I'm a little hungry. I'm going to shake this, and then I know that certain money trees... I'm curious of this. So if you take the money tree and shake it, and you have a leftover naked tree afterwards, like this one right over here used to be a money tree, what happens to the money tree itself when you have it in your pocket? I want to test this out. Is it a money tree or is it just a plain old tree? And it is a hardwood tree. All right, that's it. So I don't really need a hardwood tree. I'll plant it and then I'll cut it down. Yeah. There we go. All right, so let's do that. One, two, three, timber. One, two, three, timber. Are these it's just regular old hardwood? One, two, three, timber. I need to make a little orchard out here, man. And this is where our orchard's going to be at. I'm just cutting everything down, dude. I'm like Paul Bunyan out here. We're gonna do one of each of um, of the trees. It's gonna be cool. Check this out. So this is what I kind of wanted to do, but I kind of wanted to do do it near Nook's Cranny. And maybe you know I still can. Oh, I totally still can. I cut those trees down for no reason. Great. Here we go, here we go, check out this. Yo, your lumberjack man, let's go. Some of these may be tr cherry trees, but don't care. Check this out. Check this out. And we made so much hardwood too. 
I think I'm gonna try to do like maybe two trees of each. So this is just gonna be like a little garden of all sorts of different fruits. I think that'll be pretty fun. What do you guys think? Is that a good idea? Right next to the uh, the shop would be perfect. I don't need to plant cherries over over here. It's definitely not worth it. Or maybe I could. I could plant the cherries, but maybe towards the opposite end. Because if you want to make money, it's going to be pretty easy to just pick up the foreign fruit and then go from there. So this tree is just completely out of the way. Like, get out of here. Like, you need to go. One, two, three, gone. Beautiful. So I got rid of all of that stuff. Now let's do a little bit of spacing out here, right? We got to take a look at nice spacing. So we're going to do a little bit of this. I think that's a little too close. I'm going to do the space it's exactly where I'm at, right there. One. I'm going to do maybe here. That's good. Uh, yeah, that's actually very well spaced. Yo, this spacing is on point. Look at this. Yeah, yeah, absolutely it is. Okay, look at that. One, two. That's going to be peaches, oranges, apples. Oh, that tree's looking at me weird. You know what happens when a tree looks at you weird, right? When a tree looks at you weird, you got to cut it loose, man. Hey, that thing. Gone. Gone. When a tree looks at you weird, you run away? Yeah, because why in the world? <laughs> That's a good good piece of advice there, absolutely. All right, here we go. So the spacing is good. We're gonna go right here. Uh, yeah, is that a little too close? I think that's a little too close. One, two, three. That should be three spaces. One, two, three. No, that, that seems about right. I think... I wish it was like Happy Home Designer out here. And I don't know if this is too close. I don't know if it's gonna... I'll, I'll keep it. So that's one fruit, two fruit, three fruit, four fruit. And we're gonna go five fruit here. And then this tree's gotta go. Okay, this is like our little garden of, uh, or our orchard, I should say. Uh, yeah, that's a little bit more accurate of a name. Stop, guy. I didn't ask you to sit down. I asked you to remove the stump. Okay, here we go. What do you guys want as the first fruit? First fruit. I have one, uh, coconuts are not going to grow. I got one, two, three, four, and then I'm going to do cherries, right? One, two, three, four, and then cherries on the end here. So these are absolutely going to be cherries. It's just what it is. You have to incorporate the cherry. All right, so I'm going to plant one. The first one, uh, some of you guys are saying apples. Some of you guys are saying uh, peaches, maybe? Peaches for sure. Okay, peaches are my favorite fruit. That's fine. And then it has to go red, orange, red. Like, just for... It, it has to do that. So I'm going to plant one. Peach's favorite fruit right there. Done. I don't know if that's too close to Nookington's. Or Nook's Cranny. So that's peaches. And it has to go apples. What do I have? Oh, no. I could put red in the middle. So this one is going to be apples in the middle. Because you don't want to put the two reds together. That's just, no. That's bad feng shui. You don't do that. Okay, so that's double apple. So now we got orange. Uh, yeah, we could do... No, we'll do pears. Here we go, pears. Beautiful. And then this last one is going to be orange. Right? So what's the order? Do you guys remember the order? Because I'm going to need a little bit of um, uh, symmetry going on over here. Because over here, that's a baby money tree. Both of those guys are baby money trees out here. I'm going to need a little bit of symmetry. All 
Alright, so it's on that plane. So we can do this here. One. And then it's on which plane? Yeah, it's gonna be here. Uh, that's a little much. Okay, that's good. Uh, yeah, one, two, three spaces. I think I may need to halt this, um, because these little money trees are kind of growing out here. And until this one grows, this one's gonna be something, right? Uh, let me see. It just looks kind of askew, doesn't it? <laughs> it's weird. Alright, anyway, so I'm not gonna dig that up, but that's gonna be a spot. That's the spot. We're gonna go right over here. I think that may be too close. I don't think trees can go grow that far. Whoa, big jump! Yo, long jump, champ! How did he do that? Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Uh, it's just not gonna work. I need some hardcore, like, terraforming over here. But, I could do it. So peaches can go over here, right? We said peaches? I'll just, I'll just throw them in. That's the part where I gotta terraform a little bit. There's two peaches, so what was it? Peach, pear, apple, orange, cherry. All right, cool. Here goes uh, pear. I'll throw this out here. I'll throw the apple. And then I'll just throw the orange over here, just, uh, just cause. And then if I'm, if I'm so inclined, I can do some other stuff. You know what? Let's just YOLO it. What's it going to cost me? One orange? Get out of here. Although I'm not going to risk planting anything around this baby money tree or this baby money tree. Those guys are just going to be there. All right. So I think we did a lot of good work as far as planting things. It's going to take a while for those things to grow. So what else are we doing? We're going to go say hi to our new resident and go to the next day. What was the name of our new resident? Dora the Explorer. All right, Dora the Explorer, I'm coming. Oh, you're inside? Are you decent? Dora the Explorer, man. Are you decent? Hey, it is the little mouse. You guys weren't kidding about that. What's up, Dora? Hi, uh, it is me. Nice to know you, and your name's Dora. Squeaky. All right, see ya. I do like Dora. Very interesting animal. I'm not going to weed your lawn. That's up to you. You've got a responsibility as a homeowner. Sorry. <laughs> not going to do it. Although it's kind of bothering me that the entire east coast of my island is just like wild lands. Does Dora speak Spanish? Oh, you bet she does. Do you even have to ask? Dumbledora the Explorer. Dumbledora. Wow, that's interesting. Coelacanth is only 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. Rain or snow. <gasps> what the heck time is it? Ah, oh, dang it. Maybe that's why. Ah, now is that from the previous Animal Crossing games? Or is that from this game? And where did you get the info from? Alright, I think we're good. I think we're good. <sighs> nice pinball machine. Gotta play a quick round before you deposit stuff. I know. This is... Oh, coconuts we didn't grow. Uh, yeah, I did not grow the coconuts. And we didn't actually go uh, check out the fossils either. So let's go do that. All right, branches. Uh, I guess that's cool. Um, rocks, clam. What's this thing of furniture? An ironing board? I was going to sell that. Uh, I did not plant the coconut. Sorry, guys. I'm going to go do that, and then we're going to end off the level. All right. And I cut down all of these trees for no reason. <laughs> I was going to make a little orchard, but apparently not. I was going to put the orchard right here. But look, guys, the orchard right here in the middle of town doesn't matter. The orchard needs to be next to the shop so that you can optimize how fast you actually go to sell all your stuff. So, yeah. 
I mean, I guess I'll leave stumps here because maybe some rare bugs will show up. I don't know. Oh, we found the money rock. It was over in the mountains. All right, here we go. I'm here to give you some fossils. Assess these. Three. Ooh, that's really rough for a day, right? I gotta keep my eyes peeled for five. Remember, there's like there's typically five in a an entire time. Okay, thank you, Blathers. I've got some new stuff for you. Here we go. Make a donation. Oh man, really one? That's it, huh? Well, that's fine. We have some extra fossils that we can kind of just set aside for some members when they come on board. We'll have you guys over. Trust me, I'll do it again. I, I swear I'm gonna have you guys over again. It's just I can't, I can't in good, um, in good faith be okay with how the current online system is. I'm out. But uh, I thought it was going to be a shortcut. I thought Dodo Codes were going to be a shortcut for me. I thought they were made for me. That's why I'm taking it so personally. <laughs> Alright, anyway. I thought Dodo Codes were for me. They had me in mind. Where I didn't want to manually add. Okay, hi. You want to play Ring Around the... Oh, oh, hey. I'm, I'm trying to find you. Hey, slow down, will ya? Hey, Abdal, I'm finally done cleaning up. Now I got room to dance. Oh, you got an emote for dance? Oh, dang it. You didn't have to give me a present. I didn't get you anything. An air circulator. Thank you. I'm gonna mail you your air circulator back. <laughs> what if I did that? What if I actually wrote letters to villagers in Animal Crossing New Horizons? What a concept. Who does that? Hey! Um, writing notes, letters to villagers, uh, I don't know about that. Oh, dude, yo, yo, that's no joke. You know why that's no joke? Because I came all the way over here to plant. Oh my gosh. Luckily, I have a lot of ingredients on me. Ingredients, materials. Crafting table. Dude, we don't have time for that. We honestly don't. Like, this is the momentum shift that I'm talking to you guys about. Give me your bench, kid. All right, let's craft. I need the shovel. Uh, flimsy, yep. Okay, now we got that big regular shovel. Thank you so much. Yo, I need like a silver shovel or something. Thank you. Alright. I have so many nook miles. Oh, I keep on forgetting to log in. Dang, dude. My logins are off, man. Here we go. Redeem nook miles. What do we got? I got 12,000. What's expensive? Uh, hair, cool hairstyles? Absolutely. Yeah. Because I'm done with my bowl cut. I'm done with my fade on the side, man. No, I don't need that life. I need my actual spiked hair up front and somewhat like spiked hair in the back. That's kind of what I'm looking for. I could put this grandpa hat away, though. Okay, learn some cool... Oh, a vanity or with a mirror? That's how you change your hair? Oh, interesting. Interesting. Didn't know you could just, like, shake your head and then boom, in the mirror. Uh, top 8 pop hairstyles? Let's go. What else am I using these nook, nook miles for? Absolutely nothing. It's a worthless currency. Oh, give me these nook miles. Pop hairstyles? Dude, I think I gotta go craft a mirror now. I'm like obligated to go do that. Coral fence, iron fence, uh, hair colors, custom design pro editor, don't need that. Give me some expensive stuff. Nook flooring? Like, I don't care about this stuff. Nook wall? 
A little fan? Nook umbrella? Like, come on. Hair color? You know, I'll just buy it. Because, like, what else are you doing with Nook Miles? You're gonna go on a ticket to, like, the Nook Mystery Island? And what? Come back with a palm tree? Come on, there's nothing there. Although, although, I should, I should visit it one more time. I should visit it one more time. Give me this mirror. I'll make it. Let's craft it. I think I have a mirror available from Nookington. Uh, so this is going to be a, this is a craft table. This is a, is this a vanity mirror? Come on, Nook. Here we go. Wooden table mirror. I want like a cooler mirror than that. But whatever, I guess I'm not going to be picky. Uh, let's go to our town, our our house. Um, I'm so getting sidetracked. It's hilarious how sidetracked I get in this game. Like, oh, this new thing came up. But I was in the middle of doing these three things. Oh, okay, whatever. Last in, first out. Let's just go do it. No, I got to keep going. I got to stay true to what I was originally saying, right? Let's go plant these things. And see, that's the thing about Animal Crossing. Maybe they they meant for you to do that, right? On purpose. Where it's just like, oh, you know what? Here, let's trip them up a little bit. Let's uh, let's make sure that this player loses the momentum so they're forced to play even longer. I don't know. All right, there we go. Absolutely not. Nice try. Uh, a little too close to the water. How about in between? That's definitely not a coelacanth. Nice try. Plant. Amazing penguin. What's up? Did I know that you're a member? I know you're a member, of course. Welcome. Thanks so much for becoming a member. Hi. How are you? Doing okay today? Hey. <laughs> oh, absolutely. This is a little close, but I'm going to risk it. Oh, the custom designer is your phone case? Okay, interesting. I don't know if this is going to thrive, but I'm going to I'm going to risk it. Yeah, we need we need these coconuts for sure. Oh, look at that big boy. Okay, now I'm going to go to my house. I'm going to go to my house. I'm going to end it. And uh, that's going to be it. Or, yeah, you know, no. Uh, there's no or. No. <laughs> Stick with the plan. I'm going to go to my house. I have, what do I have available by my place? Oh my gosh. Here we go. Here we go. Just put this down. Put it down. I'll deal with that tomorrow. Oof, what? I thought you can't run through your stuff. What? Oh, man. Yo, I gave these fossils to some members earlier. Yikes. And then what is all this stuff? A present? Open it. It's the AC conditioner, right? Air circulator. Uh, folding chair, wooden table mirror, ironing board I needed to sell, uh, stones, and I needed to craft the little uh, fish bait, and then coral I didn't need. Coral! All right, here we go. So I'm gonna craft the, the little fish bait just so I have it. The ocarina. It's interesting. I made some fish bait. We should have a 1v1 fishing tournament. A 1v1 fishing tournament. Dang. Think about that. Think about it for a second here. Do I need anything in storage? Okay, so I need this mirror, though. <laughs> Should I change my look with a wooden table mirror? Yeah, sure. Oh, dang, we got way more hairstyles. Yo, this one! This one was made for me! What? 
Oh, yeah, buddy. Oh, man. Yo, this one is actually made for me, too. Kind of, sometimes. Like, my hair sometimes looks like this. Oh, dang. And my hair... No, no, that's... I mean, I thought it was. I mean, my hair's a little like that. It's a little, like, big old wavy, but it's not... It's not that wavy. That's kind of cool, man. I'm gonna go... What do you guys think? Number... Number one? With the shaved... Fade sides? Oh, man. My hair is getting a little long for sides. I need to... I'll do that. This is option number one, or... Ugh. Or option number two. Option number one or option number two. What do you guys think? One or two. And then we're gonna go blue hair. No way. Yuck. Gray hair. Ugh. Almost there, man. Okay, I think a lot of you guys are going for number one. Alright, we're gonna go for number one. Number one for sure. Cool. Great. Great. Eyeballs. Don't need them. Oh, we got even more eyes? No. These are the same eyes. Pac-Man eyes. Mouth and nose. Cheeks. And that's it. Yeah, this looks great. Hey, now I can take off this hat and throw it to the world. <sighs> I'm out. Grandpa hat is now gone. Grandpa hat is now gone. All right, you guys, wh whoever is one of these members that's going to come on board, you guys have first dibs on the grandpa hat. Oh, no, not like that. Here, you can have it. I'm having a... <laughs> I can honestly invite one person over. I can invite one person over for a garage sale. Or you can just come and take some stuff. Like, I don't honestly care. It's just... I gotta get rid of it. It's one of those Marie Kondo things I just gotta get rid of. Alright, we doing anything else for the day? Speak now or or forever hold your pieces. We're going tomorrow, man. I, I, still, got, I still have it in me to play this game. Although I didn't talk to Mabel yet. Or you. Hey. You got a, You got more stuff? Good afternoon. Mm, what are we doing? <whistles> Nintendo Jersey? Oh. I will buy a Nintendo Jersey because it says Nintendo on it. I'm buying all your stuff. I got money. A rubber apron? You know it. All right, so should the next day be at nighttime? You guys want to do like a, a nighttime next day kind of a deal? Where does one get a Nook backpack? Someone tell me more about it. I'm just going to buy out everything here. Do 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 do. What's this, running tights? <laughs> okay, that's cool. Sometimes I go for a run. Like, the only thing I want out of here is the Nintendo jersey, so I'm gonna wear that. Although, I don't have a wardrobe. Maybe that's what I'm missing. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, how many clothing items can you keep in a wardrobe? A do-rag? <laughs> I just made my hair. <laughs> Uh, you can buy the knapsack with my- does a knapsack do anything? Is there, um, is there a point to the backpack? With a nap- um, does it do- is it just, um, does it give you more space? Or is it just a stupid backpack? Pleather sneakers? Wow. I wish there was a button. That said, buy all. Right? I need to make a wardrobe. I have so many clothing items, and maybe I just don't want to give them away. Maybe I want to use them. Wooden wardrobe. Here we go. Wait, DIY projects? Your pockets are too full. Oh, I see, I see, I see. I got too much junk here. Let me put this air circulator on the ground. Thanks, Cookie. 
Wooden wardrobe. We need something like that in the house. Alright, so I need to find out what exactly is the clothing situation. Because, you know, I, believe it or not, I'm liking wearing some new clothes per episode. I like that concept. It's kind of fun. Alright, here we go. Uh, I'm going to put the wooden wardrobe and fade back a little bit here. Hey, a wooden wardrobe. Should I change? Yeah, get changed, dude. That's a lot of stuff. Where... Where do I store them? Change, take off. Basketball tank, that looks really cool. Although I like this hoodie. Hold on. I'm not understanding. It's not like a storage where I would put something in it. It's just everything that I've owned at one point in time. Hold on, where are those? I don't know how this works. This shows that it's in my pocket, but the Nintendo hat is in my storage thing? Frilly pants are in somewhere. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just gonna like put it away, I guess. I wonder where or how long storage lasts until I run out of space. Is it just infinite? Do rag? Oh yeah, there we go. I needed that in my life. Interesting. Can you play this game on iPad? Absolutely not. This is Nintendo Switch only. Uh, thank you for the super chat. Okay, uh, yeah, so that was uh, very interesting. So I have that in storage, and then it's just like, okay, well, now you can look in the wardrobe and see what you have, and you can go from there. And these are what's in storage right now. So those clothing items that I put for, like, for sale out there, maybe I should put them back, because then I'm just going to have more options to change into, right? That only makes sense. Anyway, give me this hat. Give me these pants. Give me all my shirts back. I take that back. These are not for sale anymore. <laughs> I can actually do something with them. I would have liked to have seen, uh, maybe with this like s infinite storage that's in your house, I would have liked to have seen it like, if you have a wardrobe, your wardrobe is stored over there. Like all the clothing items. Because this, yeah, this is great. But I don't know what the limit of this is. Like where's the limit? Is that the limit? No, it can't be. Maybe it's just infinite? I don't know. I hope it's infinite. Because that would be amazing. If there was just like infinite storage for all of your clothing items. And you're just like, oh, you know what? I actually own uh, the Mabel Sisters in my house. Because I bought literally everything in the catalog. So now I can pick and choose whatever I want to wear. Without having to worry about space. I wish that was the case. But I don't know. Can't confirm. Okay, guys. Uh, I think the day is pretty good. We learned some hairstyles. We learned a little bit of... That stuff, I think it's time to go. I think, what do you guys say, do another day? If we do another day, I can uh, potentially pay off this next loan. What do you guys think? I don't know, it's up to you guys. Whatever you guys want to see, I'm here for it. Um, I honestly want to see how my new trees are faring. I want to see nighttime a little bit more. It's up to you guys. We could do another day. That's fine. 3.30. At? Let's do 8 p.m. 8.15 p.m. That's fine. It'll be a nighttime episode. That way we can maybe get a run-in with another tarantula. Oops, I'm sorry. I gotta close this. I need a rematch with that tarantula. And I think it's gonna be like a standoff. Because, like, when you go near the tarantula, he goes on his hind legs. And then, like, he waits, like, five or six seconds. And then he charges you. So, I don't know if it's a standoff where I'm just going to run up to him and grab him. Or I just got to hold it. And then just wait till he's halfway there and then let go before he gets me. I don't honestly know what the, what the strategy for tarantulas is. So, yeah, the strategy, definitely, Dark Angel, is don't get bit. Because if you get bit, you die. And then it's game over and you have to start an island all over again. 
Sha 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 sha. It is nighttime. Maybe we can find some nighttime bugs. I don't know. Don't really. Oh yeah. Hey hey, resident services. Getting that big upgrade. Hello everyone. This is Tom Nook on a Monday. Yep. Resident services is closed. Okay, but that's fine. I have my uh, pause full today with the resident services. Getting back to that now. Have a great day, everyone. Nice glasses, kiddo. All right, priority. Since it's not raining, we got a money. Oh, we got a money tree. Yeah, that's my little. That's my small child right there. Oh my gosh! <laughs> that was almost at the wrong angle, dude. Like, let's go. What the heck, man? Gold nugget. I wonder if ants will start crawling on this fruit. That's a thing, right? An owl? Oh, that's cute. Hedgewig! Who's Hedgewig? Why was that the first thing that came to mind? When I saw an owl? What is that, from some sort of fandom? Hedgewig? Gold nugget? Harry Potter, Harry Potter. There's a little centipede thing that you think I needed, but I didn't. Hedgewig. I kind of want to go check the status of my little fruit trees that are happening over there. Yeah, buddy, give me that. Maybe I can pay off my loan. I think I need maybe like two more money rocks and then I could pay off my loan. Do I have that? That's a moth. Yeah, I do have a moth. That is a weird looking ant. I don't know if I have it. I'm gonna go get it. I'm going in blind. Completely missed. Too many trees in this town. <laughs> I may have this ant. Slow down. You're going to, let me cut him off Mario Kart style. Slow down guy. There we go. I may have that, I don't know. <laughs> I caught a tiger beetle. Yeah, I did catch a tiger beetle, all right. Going in completely blind. Maybe Gulliver's out here too. What is my, yeah, I got plenty of room in these pockets. So done with vaulting. Okay, so these are actually uh, working out pretty fine. All these baby palm trees, they're, oh, look at you little cute guys. Yeah, you guys are looking real good today. Nice. All of them are thriving. Even this one that I thought was a little too close for comfort. And yeah, ooh, even this little guy. Hey, beautifully done. I love it. Yeah, I guess I'm, I'm gonna vault over. I go take a look at the top. I already got the money tree. I'm just kind of looking for gold nuggets at this point. Too many weeds over here. Like, no one cares about this corner of the town, right? It's just abandoned. It's just like DLC. It's just like added DLC that like I didn't even pay attention to. What is going on? One, two. Vaulting pole. Hey, thank you. I'm glad that you guys like the look of the island so far. It's cool. It's a work in progress. Until I get terraforming, man. I'm gonna... Oh, whoa! Guys, guys, guys! Guys! Guys, guys, guys. 
guys, though. Guys! Yo, this is our first instance of Ghosty McGhosterson named Wisp! Yo, what's up, dude? Okay. One, two, three, four, five. I can't believe it. I mean, I did suspect it, but to think ghosts are really, really real. Ah, oh, human. A real, live human? I've been on this island for a long time, but I've never seen a human. Oh, you just moved here. Oh, okay, well that explains everything. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Wisp. Nice to meet you. Well, I just to, I'll just be honest with you. I love darkness, especially nighttime, but I'm afraid of ghosts. Whew! This little run-in with you has me all shaken up. You scared some pieces of my spirit right out of me. Looks like they flew off when we bumped into each other. There's no way I can stay like this. What a pickle. Uh, I'm sorry to ask this of you, but... Could you maybe collect the pieces of my spirit that flew away? Otherwise, I'll be like this forever. And I cannot deal with that. Please help. I promise uh, there will be something good in it for you. Now, let's see here. There are five pieces of my spirit in all... I should, you should be able to find them floating around the island. You'll need to, a net to catch them. I'm counting on you. Thank you. Oh, dude, this is cool. I've never experienced this content before in the game. All right, Wisp. I'm going to find all five of your spirits and nothing is going to stop me. Except for heights. Heights are going to stop me. Okay, heights are going to stop me twice. Oh, and a gold spot is going to stop me. Uh... Hold on, hold on. Wisp? Oh my gosh. I'm fumbling out here. There we go. One down. Caught a wisp spirit piece. Burr, it's kind of cold. Oh my gosh. Alright, nothing's gonna stop me. Yo, Pedro! What's up, man? How are you, everyone? Welcome, Pedro, to the Fire Flower tier. That is the second tier up, man. You are awesome, buddy. Welcome. Taking this. Look, I dug up a thousand bells. Oh, 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 hold on, hold on. Swap it. Air circulator, get this out of my- No, no! <laughs> anyway, Pedro, it's good. It's good, man. That's a misclick. You did not see that. Just pay attention to the new member hype in the comments, okay? I just lost 20,000 bells. 20,000 bells because I'm I'm Mr. Too many Oh. All right, Mr. Assetti, I'm turning this game off, man. Mr. Assetti, I'm out. I'm out. I'm turning the game off, dude. So upset. Just lost 20,000 bells. I lost my 20,000 bell investment because what? I had a stupid tiger beetle in my pocket? Because I had a folding chair in my pocket that I didn't get rid of? Oh, so upset. So, and this thing that's been in my pocket forever from the HHA? I blame the HHA right now. Anyway, uh, we had a brand new member. Uh, welcome to it. I don't know why my thing's not updating. Let's actually see what's going on with that. Sometimes I gotta re-log in. 5,000 bucks. Pedro, you did not make me lose. No, that is not you, Pedro. That is completely on the HHA. I pressed the wrong button, but uh, we're good. We're good. Pedro, my man. Welcome to it. Uh, so we got to do some more work. We got to find Wisp. Now, nothing else is going to stop me from finding the rest of these Wisp pieces. So let's do a little bit of sifty sifty and find these Wispy Wispies. Okay, here we go. Climbing up. Taking a look around for wisps. And X marks the spots. That's all I stop for. And shells. Oh, that's not a shell? What do you mean that's not a shell? It's a hermit crab? Oh. And this note in the bottle that I didn't even address? A key holder? I don't care about that. Wisps! I'm coming! Look at my trees! My trees look gorgeous, by the way. Very nice and well spaced.
Okay, you are completely not a real shell. Okay, you're completely a real shell. <laughs> Okay. I just need I need to find the wisps. Abdallah, stay on, on task. I can get shells any other day. We got wisp in our town. Yo, I don't like playing hide and seek though. I saw that clam. I gotta really like sift through the town. Come on, man. Like, where. Five of them? You're insane. Oh, there's one. Two. Was that something on a tree? No, that's a leaf. Okay. Oh, sweet. That was funny. It was really funny. Very hilarious when you just bury the air conditioner in the golden spot and it didn't even come out as a gold air conditioner. What the heck, game? Yep. <laughs> was that number three? Finally, the third piece. Oh, he actually says what piece it is. That's great. I love it. Thank you. It's a nice little quality of life there. Sup? Don't look at me. Hey, you're out and about? Finally, Dora, you exploring? Yeah, okay, you're very interesting. Uh, thank you. Wisps! Dude, I honestly checked everywhere. So Pudgy McPudgerson? I could have sworn I checked everywhere. Let's take a look. Wispy Woods! <gasps> A second chance. Oh, it's a man-faced stink bug. I'll miss you again, Uncle. Ah, uh, that's Wispy over there. I mean, his... He's kind of coming back to his normal self, but like... I... What? Oh, that's my dumb thing I buried. Look at this. Imagine if, like, fossils ended up over here in this nonsense part of the woods. What the heck? Where is he, guys? No way! Ugh. Forbid your Animal Crossing character to be able to jump down, what, four feet? Yo, where are these wisps at? These are two money trees that are gonna net me some good bells. I I can't see them, man. All right, I'm just gonna go left and right. We're gonna we're gonna comb through this entire island. Yeah, I could have sworn I ch I looked there. They're moving though. That's the thing. These little turds are moving. These little burgles. All right, here we go. Caught a wisp spirit piece. One more to go. All right, one more to go. One more to go. One more to go. All right, so I kind of combed through here before. This is actually uh, relatively tough. You know who I miss? I miss Booker and Copper. I miss those two guys. They would have been on it like stink on a monkey. Hey, that's a money tree right there. Don't even distract me with it. I 
I would have said, hey, Booker, uh, anything new? Any guests coming in here? And then he would have said, yeah, over an acre, B1, E5, A2. <laughs> he was like, yeah, these were all the Wisp sightings we're at. That's it. Okay, so that's the last one. Let's go return them to Wisp. Let's do that. Absolutely, we're gonna do it. I'm totally ready for it. Booker would have done it. What the heck, Booker? You're not even here, man. Booker T. You guys remember Booker T? Who the heck's Booker T? Booker T. What a concept, man. Bet you don't even know Booker T. Anyone know? <laughs> so, Wispy Woods? You did it! You found all the pieces of my spirit. Come on, hand them over, hurry. Booker T, yeah, from <laughs> from wrestling, yeah. <laughs> Perfect. He used to do the spinner Rooney, didn't he? Wasn't that his thing? One, two, three, four, five. And now we have Wisp back to normal. He's got a little little circle on his head. What is that? Ta-da! Ah, back to normal. Whew, thank goodness. And thank you. I feel wonderful. Oh, right. I need to give you the reward I promised. Uh, what's it going to be? Is he going to offer me weed again? Well, who doesn't love furniture? I can get you something you don't have yet, or I can get you something expensive. So what's it going to be? New or expensive in the comments. What do you guys think? Yo, man. New or expensive? Okay, you got it. You're looking for something on the expensive side. I'm not that great at judging the value of items, so I'm totally not sure if this item is worth a lot. But, here, have a colorful wheel. I'll put this item in your pocket, okay? Let me just say, I hope our paths cross again sometime. Until then, farewell. Okay, dude just slipped something in my pocket without me even feeling it. How creepy is that? A colorful wheel! Alright, that was fun. And he left me a tree branch. Was that fun? Did you guys think that was fun? It seemed like work. And he doesn't know the value of things, so how is he going to offer me something expensive? when the word expensive is subjective from person to person, or in this case, from ghost to human. I don't know, but I better I better treasure this color wheel. Just saying. It's expensive. I was expecting like a gold lamp, a gold armoire, a gold dresser. Really? Okay, well, I can actually use this. Because it's RNG. Landing on six? Watch me land on a six on purpose. Check this out. Watch. You watching? Six on purpose. Oh, no. Sorry. It's like half a wheel spin. So once uh, six is on the bottom. Six on purpose. Dang it. Six on purpose. Okay, maybe not. That's kind of cool, though. You can manipulate it so that you land it exactly on what you want, if you know the timing and you're good at it. Yo, Fares, what's going on? Welcome. Hey, what's up, my dude? How are you? Welcome to it. There's my money tree, by the way. I uh, hope you're enjoying the Animal Crossing content. Thanks so much for having uh, coming on board, helping out. Hey, hey. All right, so we good with this day? One, two, three. Four. I don't have a gold nugget, man. Oh, dang. As I say, I don't have a gold nugget, man. A gold nugget, man, comes out. Unbelievable. Yes. That's three golden nuggets, baby. Oh, we're going to have everything dipped in gold. You better believe it. All right. What do you guys, uh, what do you guys want to do for the rest of the remainder of time here? I've got some shells that I can go pick up. I got my gold nugget. What do you guys want? What do you want? I can go shake some of these trees, get some coconuts, uh, fossils, we can go do that. Get the Nook Backpack. Why is everyone saying that? Or is that just one person in the comments repeating themselves? What's the deal? You see that this place is under construction, right? How am I going to get the Nook Backpack if that's under construction, guy? 
I'm gonna bust out a Mr. Rossetti and tell you to pay attention. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, man. Mr. Rossetti, dude. Uh, Mr. Rossetti is the best animal. Yo, pay attention. Uh, try to catch a tarantula. I think we've honestly walked around the entire floor looking for those wisps. And if there was a tarantula, we oh, we would have seen it. Oh, what is this thing? Get back here. And there's a present over there. A hermit crab. There's a present. You didn't think I'd see this present in the corner of my... Don't talk to me. Okay, fine. Thanks for coming over, real cool friend. Okay, brought a present for you today. We're officially licensed friend. Okay, great. A bamboo stool. Cool, Pudge. I'm not your best friend, I'm sorry. That spot's reserved for Enderman. Oh, I was about to say, one time when I was playing off screen, there was like a full nine square of weeds, right? A full nine square of weeds. And you guys know that if there's a nine square, you can't put anything on it. I leaned up, I shot in the air. I popped the present, it fell right on the middle of the nine square of weeds and then evaporated into nothing. And I said, mama mia, dude. So I got really upset. So here we got a present, we got a little hermit crab. A mini cactus set, a bamboo stool. Like, what do I need this for? I don't. Thanks, Pudge. Thanks, Pudge. Yo, another one of these? Are th I hope these things are expensive. Where'd you go? Oh, you are lucky. You're lucky my pockets are full. Oh, maybe if I had the Nook backpack. <laughs> I don't think I have a blue butterfly. That's cute. Please slow down. You are going so fast right now. Oh my gosh, don't go over the water. Oh, I don't have a blue butterfly. Look at this beautiful emperor butterfly. Wow, it's not your average monarch too. Dang, that's cool. Yo, look at this whale. Look at this whale of a time. No, no, we're not gonna do it. I got too many things in my pockets. Okay, so a couple things that we have to do. I have to go evacuate my pockets. I gotta go look for those fossils and put those fossils into blathers. Is that a bug? Is that a man face bug? Yeah, I got the man face already. Looks like my uncle. I'll miss you again, uncle. No, we're gonna go do our blathers thing first. Yo, I'll miss you again, uncle. I got coconuts too. Uh, so many things I need to do. It's just like, you just gotta do them all. One thing at a time, Abdallah, one thing at a time. It'll be fun. All right, I'll miss you again, uncle. Here we go, give it a spin. That's the I miss you again, uncle spinning chart. How often do you miss your uncle out of eight? Uh, how often do you miss your uncle out of eight? Bamboo stool, I'm gonna sell that stuff. Iron nuggets, don't need. Actually, you know what? I got a pack of 30 iron nuggets that I can put in storage. And I got a pack of 30 of these that I can put in storage as well. So yeah, I don't need to hold on to those. All right, well, we don't actually miss our uncle. We miss him zero out of eight on that spinning wheel. The color wheel, what are we gonna do with that thing? And I'm gonna squish this bug. All right, so I put away at least a couple things here. I got four fossils, three of them today, one from yesterday that we were able to take a look at. And hopefully we can assess them and make our way over to the next thing. Reading a book, what a good guy. Alright, what do we got? Found something that's not part of our collection. That's good to hear. I love it. I love it. That's the best thing. He'll tell you and he gives them back to you and then you can just come over here and say, Hey, take something that's new. Your fossils. Oh, beautiful. And you can take this butterfly that I don't have in the museum. Beautifully done. Beautifully done. Alright, what do you guys say? You want to take a look at the fossils a little bit? Some of you guys asked me earlier. I said I wasn't going to show you, but 
I have a feeling we got a lot of dinosaurs. Because every time we go in, at least 50% of our, our submissions are already there. So we're looking pretty good. A little interesting. Got some amber. What else do we have? This is a spot where I really want to, sh to just shine. I think it's going to be really fun. Okay, so that's just looking at me. This thing doesn't even have a body. It's just like two arms that are just like... What is that? Stego is done. Yeah, dude. And Taro is almost done. Maybe I'm missing a wing. I don't know. This little guy's done. This guy doesn't have a head. This guy is... I don't know. Some of these things are... Whoa, yeah. We do have a lot of cool things that are just about done. This is looking good. Oh, man. T-Rex torso is missing. Oh, that's not even a T-Rex. That's a Bronto. Okay. This thing is missing something. Okay, interesting. Very cool. It's coming together. It really is. A little a little fossil a day, right? Oh, look at these. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Oh, I don't even know what they're supposed to even be. But I do have that skull over there. That was our last villager that uh, looked at me the wrong way. So, we took care of him. And then we put him on display. <laughs> Alright, see you later. I gotta get rid of these glasses, though. I don't wear glasses in real life. Why am I wearing these glasses still? Is there anything you'd like to do today before we end off the live stream? Anything, let me know in the comments. Anything that you'd like to see today before we end off. You got like about five minutes. I want to kind of keep these under two hours apart. We had a great time today, though. We totally did. I completely enjoy this game. I adore it. I adora it. Look at this. Trash tools, second stamp. What can I say? I'm just a tool trasher. I use them a lot. What's this? Fruit roots? Oh, dang, look at all these. Man. Very nice. Look at this. Unparable. Wow. And the last one? Yeah, we completed it. Miss Mr. Popular. It's great. Since we planted one of every of those um, things. Good things in store, based on how many things you have in storage. Okay, that's good to hear. So you can have at least 100 things in storage, so I don't really have to worry about running out. Smile Isle. Okay, uh, and then we got... Raining Treasure. Collect five of those little balloons. Awesome. And I'm back with 11,000 miles here. Wispy Island Secrets. Whoa, that's right. We did meet Mr. Wisp. Anything Nook Miles Plus that I gotta worry about? No, it's not really worth it. Okay, here we go. Um, okay, Mystery Island. I'm not gonna do Mystery Island. Uh, thank you for the suggestion. Tarantula Hunt. I mean, I can look around town a little bit more, but there's, I doubt we'll even find one. Let's see, what else? Fishing. We did a lot of fishing on the episode. Pay off the debt. You can't pay off the debt because the Tom Nook place over here is under construction. So, yeah, there's that. Uh, bridge. Again, can't really do anything with it. I don't think I could craft a bridge outright. I mean, I could try. Let me take a look. Really? Okay, let me see. I do need at least, like, two or three bridges everywhere. I don't think you can. No, I don't think you can craft your own bridge. I think it has to be something from Tom Nook that he gives you. Unless you guys are seeing it, and I'm not seeing it, but it's not here. So, that's a bust. Nope. Any other suggestions? Let's see. Uh, bell bug hunts. No, check your mail. I did check my mail. Okay. Visit villagers' houses. Eh, no. Grow money tree. Eh, we already did it. Uh, hit a villager with a net. Uh, we're okay. That money can stay on that tree over there. I don't need to pick it. I think we've done everything for the day. What else? Oh, you! I just want to pick him up. He's so cute. I guess I can go sell my stuff, right? Okay, that's my last thing. I'm going to evacuate my pockets just so that I have a fresh start for tomorrow. 
Evac. The best placed bridge in the entire town goes right over there. Today's, uh, what, like a Monday? Is today Monday? In the game? I don't know. Alright, yo, sell my stuff and then I'm out. See you later. Thanks for coming. Alright, I want to sell. Okay, we're going to sell this. Stink bug. Conch. Cactus bamboo stool. This thing. This thing. This, this. And that's it. Four thousand bucks, not bad. So next episode, we are gonna pay off our 198k bell loan. I promise you, we will. I'll have more than enough bells for it, and it's gonna be a great time. So don't miss it. That's gonna be tomorrow. Uh, I got some other things I want to do tonight, but you guys are more than welcome to hang a look, uh, hang a look at the playlist, watch the previous episodes, you get all of your questions answered on how to do this and how to do that. You'll be all set. You'll be ready to go. I'm just gonna leave these coconuts here so they grow back a little bit quicker. Anyway, we're good. Are we good? Yes, we are good. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Dropping and dropping. Okay, man. There we go. Oh, and look at that. That's rare. I One does not simply walk away from it. It might be worth money. Yo, this game's sucking me back in after I'm trying to leave it. Maybe it might be a thousand bells. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe it might be a thousand bells. It's very cute. I like the coloration. So, guys, that's it. The end. Okay. Well, we had a great time. We did like three days worth of work. So tomorrow we're going to get the brand new guest services. And that'll be pretty fun. I can't wait to show that to you guys. Uh, we met the Able Sisters today. We showed you guys what exactly to do if Wisp shows up in your town. Anytime past 8 p.m., there's a chance that he'll actually show up. And then you got to find his little spirits. And you can choose something new or something expensive. Which is interesting because fast forward to, let's say you play this game for an entire year. And you're looking at collecting every living single piece of furniture. You're like, oh man, I just don't have this piece of the set. You can click on something new, and then he'll give you that piece that you may be missing. This sheep better not take your stuff. This stuff is all for you guys. It's not for me. I could, e I could have easily sold that for 20k bells plus. That's at least 50k bells just sitting there. But I just I would much rather give it to you guys. So anyway, next time we do online, we'll uh, we'll hook you guys up. I'll just singular choose one person out of the comments and say, hey, come on in, drop off some stuff, and we'll go from there. It'll be a better time than what we had last time, so. <laughs> oh boy. All right, thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode of Animal Crossing New Horizons. If you guys didn't already pick up the game, make sure you guys do so. And visit my channel because there's tons happening on it as far as Animal Crossing videos go. Uh, if you guys are staying at home, make sure you guys are being safe out there. Those of you guys in the States and other places of the world. You know, certain things are on lockdown. Political climate out there is a little crazy. But the fact that you guys are out here watching my videos really and truly helps out. So I appreciate every single one of you guys. Especially the two brand new members that came on board. And all of you guys that came with the Super Chats. You guys are awesome. So hit that subscribe button. Turn on notifications. Uh, definitely chat around in our Discord. we got a whole bunch of people talking about Animal Crossing over there. Discord.gg slash Abdallah. It's free to join. And uh, yeah, we're all set. So thanks for being here. We'll see you tomorrow bright and early, uh, right around the same time we started the previous one, uh, right around 10 a.m. Central. We'll get that going so that we can uh, just see what ex exactly is happening. And we'll continue with the series until we are absolutely done and have everything. It'll be great. Anyway, have a great rest of your day. Thanks for watching. Take care.